I always wanted to be an astronaut as a kid, but it turns out I'm desperately afraid of heights. So probably not gonna make a great astronaut. And this kind of lets me live out that fantasy. I think of Adrift as kind of a uh, story-driven exploration and survival game. It becomes a game about navigating the environment. We've given you all this freedom, you can go anywhere, but getting there becomes a matter of manipulating the physics of yourself as a character. Adrift is the story of an astronaut who wakes up floating in space no idea how she got there, no idea what happened, and a badly damaged spacesuit leaking oxygen. So her goal is to immediately stay alive and get home. Personal System Specialist, Madonna, Andrew, 17, April 2037. And through exploring this destroyed space station environment, making repairs to herself, making repairs to the ship. Lucy has moved on from resentment to indifference in our weekly vid comes. She ends up meeting all of the crew aboard uh, who are now deceased and kind of learning their stories and through learning their stories she learns about herself and kind of the main narrative of the game. We don't have all the usual tropes of a standard game to fall back on. We have to really develop a whole new system of play because you can go anywhere in our game, we have no one trying to kill you. But how do we make that into an engaging, multi-hour, exploratory gameplay experience? Using Unreal was pretty awesome because we could actually prototype really rapidly. So we're a very small team, and rather than having to go to, uh, at the time, one engineer and go, hey, I really need this, I could just go make it myself, go into Blueprints, build myself some toys to play with, play around with them, and if it felt like there was something there, send out to the other guys and go, what do you think? And iterate it super rapidly and so it forced me as a designer to really go deep and go, what could I do better? How could I make this game better? What systems are interesting to me? We're developing a drift traditionally and in virtual reality, but it's, it's been amazing using uh, VR. I really only thought about the experience being more immersive, but what I didn't expect was the ability to coax emotions. People get so immersed because it is that kind of intensity that when you see it in VR, it's very real and suddenly you're above the earth. You know, as a developer, that's always the dream is you want people to not think I'm playing a game, just be living in your world. But I feel like I'm never probably gonna go to space, but as a plan B, it's pretty awesome.